California lost track of $24 billion <laughs> spent Whoops. to combat homelessness. Homelessness. Imagine uh, how much money you've lost before that you kind of lost track of. I said $2,400 cash. My dry cleaners gave it to me. Vinny said $500. Uh, Tom said $500. Adam said never in a million years, but Gavin Newsom <laughs> is the GOAT. Right. A recent California state auditor report reveals that the state lost track of $24 billion spent over the past five years to address homelessness. Lead auditor Grant Parks emphasized the lack of sufficient data <laughs> to prove the fund's uh, efficacy in improving the crisis, improving the crisis, stating that the state has not collected sufficient data. The audit criticized the California Interagency, Interagency Council on Homelessness for its failure to consistently track and evaluate the state's efforts in combating homelessness. It noted that Cal ICH has not aligned its action plan to end homelessness with its statutory goals to collect financial information and ensure accountability. This is why people don't trust giving money to taxes, because you don't know what to do with the money when you do receive it. End result. Raising concerns about accountability, Assemblyman and Republican leader James Gallagher criticized Governor Gavin Newsom directly, accusing him of making, making a splashy announcement, wasting a bunch of taxpayer money, and completely failing to deliver. Tom. Uh, excuse me. They know exactly where this money went. They know exactly what they did with it. We were talking, remember, if it's a bill, it's basically a fraud lasagna. That's what, remember, we talked about <laughs> yep. that. So the bill on, this is the border bill. You know, $60 billion and $12 billion was going to the border or whatever those numbers went. And in, in the middle, it's a fraud lasagna. California knows with this. They made a bill there for California homelessness. And if you came in and did an audit of this, you would find out what they really spent it on. And like the federal government, this thing was probably riddled with earmarks when it went elsewhere. And so what they don't want to do, they don't want to talk about what they really did with the money. So they're just saying, well, we lost it and we can't keep track of it to combat homelessness. And now finally somebody, Breitbart, you know, it's this isn't going to be uh, local news. This isn't going to be CNN. In, they're going to protect Gavin Newsom, their, their anointed man in waiting uh, to run for president. And so this is a fraud. The taxpayers should call it what it is. You spent $24 billion on something and you don't you know want to tell crazy, me. Tom. You don't want to tell me. You, don't, you know, it's crazy, Tom. $24 billion. No one gives a shit. But for $20 billion to protect the border, <laughs> oh, my God, there's no way we can do that. Wait, was our right. map the, half the of border, that could have built the wall? Five they could have built it for yeah. $5 billion, but I say overspent. He overspent. $20 billion could have built a border, and you could have combated many different things. But California gets $24 billion, and they can't keep track of the money. And then you expect people to trust, like the other day Biden says, if we are able to create a wealth tax and we gather half a billion dollars over the half a trillion dollars over the next 10 years from the billionaires, are we going to be able to do such great things with that money? And all I said is, do you have a track record of doing anything with the money we're giving you? And especially in the state of California, $24 billion given to you to fix homelessness and you can't fix it and you lost track of the money? You think you have any moral authority with anybody? No wonder so many people are leaving this great state of California and sick of your bullshit. And, gu and guess what? Californians, <clears throat> you guys had a chance to recall this snake in the grass, Newsom. And just look at his resume. I hope everybody's keeping track because, again, that guy, that face isn't going away, all right? Uh, just all the drugs uh, that are happening. I remember I did, I did jury duty uh, downtown PBD, and as I was— Coming down uh, to go my, to my train, I'm um, coming up. Some young kid is shooting up heroin and pulling out and then sucking the heroin out of his arm. And a cop just walks by. Nobody cares. Nobody's stopping him. Look at uh, all, all the uh, uh, immigration problems that they're having. All the, you know, kissing China's ass, doing everything. And now he has this. And by the way, I sent Rob this video um, of Gavin Newsom's 16 year, which is today, 2024, of his 10 year plan to end homelessness. Look at this, look at this snake and all of his BS coming out of his mouth. What we call a 10 year plan to end chronic homelessness in San Francisco. How are you gonna solve homelessness? What are you gonna do as a new mayor? And I say, well, what are you gonna do? Focus on a housing first mile, direct access to housing. Shelter solve sleep, housing with wraparound and support services. Uh, solve homelessness. Homelessness absolutely can be solved. Laid out a detailed homeless strategy. There's been no intentionality on homelessness in the state for decades. It's not been a focus. <laughs> I don't think we can solve homelessness. I know we oh, can solve homelessness. Okay. We will reduce street homelessness quickly and humanely through emergency action. The highest investment the state's ever made is $1 billion on homelessness. We are poised to pass a budget in the next few hours that will provide 12 
billion dollars still of not. investments. Still not. You literally it. Buy all it. the money in the this world. You can't go, fix it, buddy. You just going. want money. This is Bill Maher's. Bill Maher loves him to run for president. So Californians, that's what you keep voting for. That's what you're going to get. Vinny, it's time for fun with math. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. How many homeless people are in California in February 2024? Uh, 151,000. More oh, than that, It's 181,000. Close. 181,000. And if 181,000 people split $24 billion, <laughs> that would be $132,000 per person. And if they got together in pairs, yeah. they could buy an average home in California. Oh, wow. Yeah, but they're not. So where's all that money They're go? not homeless anymore where, where, because yeah. every two of them now together. Oh, when, you, when you get $24 billion, that $24 billion, a lot of it's going to go to people that are going to get a job working for the government. Shit, you don't yeah. put the $24 billion into people. Are you kidding me? You think that's what they're going to be doing? No, they're going to use that I, money. I in feel like in California, way. I feel like it's the movie Groundhog Day. Every time we talk about California, it's something nonsensical. The crime, the theft, the homelessness, the regulation, the taxes. People are leaving. Yeah. It's just like the U-Haul, Gavin Newsom. It's, And then they always say, well, we're a top five GDP uh, in the yeah, world. Yeah. We have a bigger economy GDP than yeah. India and the UK. Yeah. People. It's like, yeah. Yeah, that's all in Silicon Valley and in Hollywood, yeah. guy. Yeah, and mind you, Adam, all these people, all these Bill Mars that are like, I love the guy. I love him. All these elites okay. aren't affected by any of this. They're millionaires, and they're in the hills. No homeless people bother them. They're not getting looted. They're not getting robbed because they have security out of the ass. We Here. can't We can't do this. We can't do this. We can't do this, what I'm about to say. But I would love to get 100 people listening to Gavin Newsom at a speech, and we all just throw calculators at him. Oh, yeah. So it's just like, <laughs> but the most <laughs> ironic thing out of all of this is despite Biden being the nominee— Gavin Newsom is still the uh, fourth best bet to be the nominee in 2020. Well, oh, Jesse Waters said it right. You know, he's got the look. He's got that feel. He's got that thing. And if the American populace only wants to think an inch deep, then a guy like that could be. Perfect. Yeah, he is. He's, he's and, soulless, and by the way, period. By download the way. Manect. Ask questions of people. So many times people DM others on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter. You never hear anything back. The reason for it is because the other influencer and expert values their time. On Manect, you get to pay to get people to respond back to you. My One of the things we put up on Manect app, which I love, you can go to any expert and see how quickly they respond, what percentage of the time, and you'll see some of the guys will be 100% within one day. Some of the people will be 70% three days. On Manect, on average, 85% of the time, you get a response back from people because you're paying for them. And we just announced a Manect contest to come to South Florida and have dinner with us at the legendary Casa D'Angelo restaurant on the house. We'll pay for it. And then afterwards, we'll go to our cigar lounge, have a bunch of cigars, conversations, poker, domino, and all the Manectors get to collaborate together. And simultaneously, we have a contest that we're running. Here's a contest. Lightweight experts, middleweight experts, heavyweight experts. You got a home team. Lightweight is anybody that's never downloaded the app before and they've never done a Manek before. Middleweight is anybody between 1 to 50. Heavyweight's going to be the ones that have done 51 plus Manek's. We already listed out some of the names right now. Dustin, Calvin, and G. Dennis Panev, Ben Pappas, Chris Como. Home team, it's going to be us competing. Then new users. You're not an expert. You just have a lot of questions. Whoever asked the most questions, new signups versus those who are existing users. If you've never used it, you're competing in this category. If you have used it, you're competing in the other category. And every day this Leaders Bulletin updates the top three get invited to come to Florida. You pay your flight, you pay your hotel, we take you out to dinner at Casa, then we go to the Cigar Lounge together and spend a few hours to get a number one in each category. We'll sit at the head table with me, but top three will be invited. And we will most likely do a raffle for each category that will pull somebody out. And again, you'll be with myself, Adam, Vinny, Tom, our crew. And uh, we'll show you around all the other things that we're doing as well. Cannot wait to see you guys there. That QR code on the top right shows the Leaders Bulletin on every day. It'll be updated to see where you rank. If you can go on the Leaders Bulletin, Rob, so people can see it. Every day you'll have an update on Manect's Leaders Bulletin to see who you're competing with at what level. Again, go to the other QR code for them to download the app. So they can get started. Go on Apple, Droid, download the app, Manect. Start Manecting today, and hopefully we'll get a chance to have dinner together. This contest starts today, April 16th, ends May 31st. And a dinner will be a date we'll send to the people that qualify in June. So looking forward to seeing you guys compete for this with Manect. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.